Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. In today's screencast, we are going to build the kernel and modules on board the NVIDIA Jetson TX2 development kit. Let's get started. Before we get started, let's put the Jetson into high performance mode. Pseudo NVP model, mode zero. Let's check it out. Power mode, max N. Okay, then we're going to wander over to the Jetson Hacks account on GitHub to the build Jetson TX2 kernel repository. Let's clone that repository. Git clone, grab this address. And then we'll switch over to that directory. This is a three-step process. The first step is to get the kernel sources. Let's do that. Okay, now we're ready to edit the kernel configuration. Let's set up the local version. It is in general setup. Okay, we go to local version. And then we put in the version tag that we want. Let's take a look at the current setting. The current name is minus Tegra. So if you just want to add something to a stock kernel, use that as your local version. However, we want to use a different name here. Double click on the local version. Jetson bot. Version 0 0.1. I want to add an additional module. So let's search for it. I'll check that. The little circle here means that it will be compiled as a module. Let's save the file. Let's close the kernel configurator. Now we're ready for the second step. We will make the kernel. The make kernel shell file does two things. The first thing that it does is fix up the make files so it can compile on board the TX2, and then it does the actual make on the kernel. Okay, now on to the third and final step, which is to copy the image. This will take the kernel image that we just compiled and copy over to the boot directory. The moment of truth. Let's reboot. It looks like we got out of this pretty lucky. Let's see what the magic incantation says. You name minus R. Jetson bot. So we have our new kernel up and running. We left a little bit of a mess. Let's go take a look at it. Let's take a look at the source area. Let's 
The source that we downloaded and built is in this kernel directory. These are the actual tarballs of the sources. This is the entire source, and this is the kernel source. You probably want to, at the very least, take these off your machine. Let's take a look at the properties of that one. They're not too large, but there's a little bit there. The kernel, on the other hand, is quite large. As you can see, it takes up about three and a half gigabytes. So what I usually do is I will take these three things here and squirrel them away on an SSD or a USB drive. You will need to use sudo to access this directory. Another place that we have a little bit of a mess. Let's take a look at that. This is the modules directory. Here's all the original modules and here's all the new ones that we compiled. Again, you can store these off board if you'd like and free up a little bit of room. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.